everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about some issues that I've been having with spider mites and mealybugs and how I treat these pests with neem oil. So ever since it's cooled down, I've had some issues with spider mites. And when I started noticing these spider mites, the damage was quite evident, as you could see on the leaf over here. So when I started noticing that this orchid had spider mites, it's already created quite a bit of damage here by eating the structure behind the leaves. And as you can see, it discolors. So when I started noticing this, I was a little bummed because there were so many of them. So what I started doing was I started treating this orchid with uh, neem oil, and I made a solution of dish soap and neem oil to get rid of it. I've, um, I've done two treatments already, and I'm going to do one last treatment with you guys and show you exactly what I do to keep these pests at bay. So neem oil generally keeps uh, pests away. It's a natural, um, it naturally repels uh, pests such as um, spider mites and a couple of other um, bugs, potentially aphids, um, I do use neem oil for mealybugs after I manually remove the mealybugs with a little bit of alcohol. But um, what I do is I keep this in my arsenal and just quickly looking at the instructions, I'm gonna walk you through how I create a solution here. So the instructions share to mix one fluid ounce per gallon of water along with one fluid ounce of mild soap. So I use dish soap. Generally, I use a Dawn, the blue dish soap, and I add it together. So equal parts neem oil, equal parts um, dish soap. And we mix that with some water and then create a solution. So one ounce per gallon, one ounce is six teaspoons. For, so that's six teaspoons for a gallon of water. So what I did was I took the neem oil, I calculated what I needed for approximately one cup, and I mixed it into the spray bottle with equal parts dish soap, equal parts neem oil. I shake it up, and then I put it into the spray bottle, and I spray my orchid down. The neem oil repels the insects naturally, and the soap smothers them. So they fall off the orchid, and they, um, they basically suffocate and go away. So I've, as I said, I've done two treatments. I've quarantined this orchid. I have it far away from the other orchids that, that are on my shelves. I don't want this to spread, but I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So I took that solution. I pared it down to one cup mixture. And you don't want to ever use pure neem oil on a plant or else it will uh, block the, the cells that it needs to breathe. So you never want to use pure neem oil on your orchid. But I've made this mix, which is quite diluted. And all I did, all I have to do now is spray this orchid down and saturate it. And this is my third treatment. As you can see, the soap is going to basically get rid of any existing pests. I usually do this over my sink, but I wanna show you guys on the table just so I could record it. I've had issues with spider mites on my houseplants as well. So this is a mixture that works really well with houseplants. Again, you don't want to use pure neem oil or else it will um, basically um, block the cells that your orchid has for breathing. But I just saturate it down. Um, as you can see, as it's dripping down, it's a little soapy. So any pests that are here are just going to fall right off. And I even get into the, um, the medium a little bit. And I'm hoping this is the last treatment I need to give this orchid. Um, it's already had more damage than I, than I want. You could see the leaf right there. It's like sort of a bummer. But once it's sprayed down, once it's saturated, you want to make sure you get every leaf, you are good to go. And what I recommend is keeping your orchid quarantined for some time 
you want to make sure if, if you have spider mites on one plant and you grow on shelves like I do, something like this can spread rapidly across your whole collection. So you want to make sure it's far away. You want to make sure you're using, if you're using neem oil, you dilute it as directed. The dish soap in here will smother the orchids and make them slide, rather, smother the bugs and make them slide right off. Um, so I look for three treatments generally. I'm After the second treatment, I haven't seen the spider mites come back, but this is a preventative measure. So if I don't see anything next week, I'm going to put this orchid right back on my shelf since it's been quarantined for three weeks and I'm not seeing a sign of the orchids, but I'm just taking preventative measures. I definitely don't want um, more orchids to have spider mites. Anyhow, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you soon. Bye.